Welcome, one and all, to Let's Play Boulder's Gate Part 3. Now, um, before I uploaded Part 2 to YouTube, it looked fine, and it was fine for the most part. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the quality. Hopefully, I fixed that. I did change some settings on my software. So, hopefully, this time when I uploaded it, it uploaded. I'm recording it right now. Um, upload it. <laughs> It'll look just fine. Let me turn up the volume. I think that's good. Anyway, um, I did do a Let's Play Part 3 video already. However, it was under the same settings as the second video, and I don't want the quality to suffer that much anymore, so I'm just going to have to redo the video. Ah, loading screens. So great. Right then. Vidlaria Spellswer. Even though she has an L in her name. Right there. Right there. It's like a ninja L. <laughs> anyway. Immawin. I guess I should go over her. Immawin is a thief with uh, really good stats, although very low strength. Um, and our pseudo dragon, once again, will serve as the party's main tank for the beginning of this game. Anyway, we're going to go up to where Garion died, because Emma Wynn said he might have information on his body, and that sounds like a good idea. Even though something funny I noticed, um, in the NPC comes to life mod, or whatever it's called, um, Emma Wynn doesn't know Garion's dead in that mod. But I believe in the original text, she says Garai might have something on his body that'll tell us more. Because he was supposed to explain everything to us, but he never actually did. Um, is that Garai? Yes, Emma, when he died saving me from something. Um, don't you even know what attacked you? Whatever it was, looks like it was vicious. Ogres, some girl with a mace, and a huge man in spiked armor. I didn't stick around long enough to take a closer look, you know. With Garan shouting at me to run, getting shot with the flaming arrow, it wasn't very pretty. I see. Um, so he wasn't after Garan, but you. I don't like this Vidlaria. I don't like it at all. I don't either, but I have to find out what's going on in the win. I don't want to drag you through this, though. And then when Emwen scoffs at us. Leave, and if I did, who would keep you entertained? Who would keep your spirits lifted in the darkest hour? And who would keep up the practical jokes? Leave? <laughs> You'll have to fi force me to leave you now. Of I think somehow, somehow that's sort of like a threat. And I'm not entirely sure what to say about that. <laughs> Did everyone just threaten us? Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay, folks. Wolves of Doom, right here. Um, people do call them the Wolves of Doom. Mainly because for a level 1 character, especially a level 1 mage in Boulder's Gate 1 and Immowen, who can't go toe to toe with anything, um, wolves. Wolves are game enders, like, honestly. Now, we do have the pseudo dragon, so, um, this might be possible without dying. Go, pseudo dragon! Show them that m minus two armor class of yours. Yeah, look at him, he's untouchable. Ooh, got one. Let's look at these rolls. Yeah. 
these ro wolves have to roll a critical hit to hit them, which is nice. Although, Pseudo Dragon doesn't have a helmet, so I guess critical hits will do full damage to him. Okay, so he's really hard to hit, but if he does get hit, he might actually go down. Depending on what hits him. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, yawn. Okay. Uh, Emma went asked us how we're doing. Um, I've been better. Do you have something on your mind, Emma Wynn? Uh, not really. I was wondering how you were feeling, seeing if, seeing if you were okay at all. You don't talk much lately. All quiet and stuff. Um, Garayan's dead. Assassins are after me, and I can't even start imagining how to survive another day. It all happened so suddenly, Emma Wynn. Um, I hate to see this eat away at you. We'll get him, you know. That guy, whoever he was, who killed your dad? We'll find out who he is, and pay him back good. And don't even think of ditching me, either. I know what I'm doing, and and I'm in this as much as you. I like to run, and you're my best friend. I'm your best friend, too, whether you know it or not. Count on me. Don't you forget it. Um... What brings us on, Emma Wynn? I don't think I've ever seen you act this way. I'm just mad, that's all. Mad, sad, and a little worried, I guess. I'll get over it. I was trying to make you feel better, and now I'm all worked up. Um, come on, let's go find an evil dragon slayer, something to loot. God damn, Emma Wynn. <laughs> um, on second thought, a hobgoblin cave is more your speed, or maybe a Svart village, hmm? I have to think about this one. Um, <laughs> my friend watched part two with me, and when I said, hey, uh, it's me, Emma Wynn, we both just burst out laughing, and uh, for some reason I just thought of that now. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head east and then north to the Friendly Arm Inn, and hopefully find Galid and Jahira there, just like Garan had said. Um... Since they're personal friends of his, we're going to have to break the news to them, too, I suppose. I kind of miss loading screens in some games. And this old man is assaulting us! No, um... He's, he's been wandering this road, and he hasn't seen anyone for t nigh unto a ten day. I'm not... I guess that means 10 days. Um, and he just wants to talk quickly and chat. And Imowen... Heh, I... Or do I need to say Ty? I mean, if you is thou, or was it thee? Um, in any case, I'm not desperate and I'm not deranged. I'm excited. I'm going to be a famous adventurer like Elminster. The old man smiles from behind his mustache. Thou art a spirited girl, Emma Wen. Now what of thy companion? Wait, wait, how'd you know my name? One can acquire such knowledge in more ways than one child, but let the quiet one speak. Um, we're a fair bit of desperate, actually. Might you know the way to the friendly arm inn? That I would. The inn is a short distance to the north, and its doors are open to all. I have no doubt thy friend shall be there, waiting with open arms. Okay, well, thanks for the information. And he continues on. And we're gonna quick save. There are always enemies like right here. Yeah, there we go. Zvats. At least I think I pronounced that right. I'm not actually entirely sure. The X is silent, or do you kind of sort of say it? Because it would be a Vart? Or is it a Zvat? I'm not sure. Whatever. Um, yeah, we're gonna take this out. And we're gonna get our sleep spell ready because there's usually at least like four. Oh, there's a lot. Um, <laughs> their battle cry is quite good. We're gonna cast sleep. Take him out, pseudo dragon. Oh, one of them's alive. Guess it missed. And time to just clean up. The beauty of the sleep spell, folks. It takes out any number of creatures under level 4. Or under 4 hit dice. Hit dice are 
basically monster levels in D&D. And we're gonna quick save again. And we're in combat. Who's alive? Or is it... okay. Just ending. <sighs> Rule number one, always loot the bodies. Scroll of armor. Um, oh yeah, I didn't read Garin's scroll. Give that dagger to Emmawin. My friend Garin, please forgive the abruptness of which I now write, but time is short, there's much to be done. What we have long feared may seem to come to pass, though not in the manner foretold, certainly not in the proper time frame. As we both know, forecasting these events have provided increasingly difficult, leaving little option other than a leap of faith. We have done what we can for those in thy care, but the time nears, we must step back and let matters take what course they will. We, we have, perhaps, been a touch too sheltering to this point. Despite my desire to remain neutral in this matter, I cannot, in good conscience, let events proceed without some measure of warning. The other side will move very soon, and I urge thee to leave Candlekeep this very night, if possible. The darkness may seem equally threatening, but a moving target is much harder to hit, regardless of how sparse the cover. A, frightening, uh, a fighting chance is all that I can be asked for at this point. Should anything go awry, do not hesitate to seek aid from travelers along the way. I need not remind thee that this is a dangerous land, and even without our current concerns, a party is stronger than an individual in all respects. Yawn. Um, <laughs> should additional assistance be required, I understand that Jahira and Khalid are currently at the friendly arm in. They know little of what has passed, but they are ever thy friends and will no doubt help however they can. Luck be with us all. I'm getting too old for this. Signed, E. So, again, the game strongly encourages you to head to the friendly arm in, and your two family member friends will be there. Khalid and Jahira. And I guess, um, I already have armor in my spell book, but it wouldn't hurt to be able to cast that next time combat starts. Anyway, we're gonna save again. And, uh, continue. Now, right here is the first, uh, secret of the game. I forget how I figured this out. But, uh, there's an item here. And two wolves. I didn't bring the other two up. How smart. Okay. Get it! Okay, hopefully... Sleep! Yes. Ah, sleep, folks. It's... it's... it's what, uh, wins battles early on. It's known to be the most powerful spell in D&D &D for low-level adventurers. And for at least a quarter of Boulder's Gate, until you start getting, like, the next batch of enemies. Tier, I guess is the word. Um... Yeah, we're gonna quick save yet again. And we picked up a magic ring inside of a rock. Interesting. We don't know what it does, but it's magical. We can feel it, and it's a ring. We can.